Hello, I'm Maury Gertz and I'm chairman of the Department of Medicine at Mayo Clinic in Minnesota. ASCO 2015 has demonstrated a number of key breakthroughs in the treatment of multiple myeloma and almost certainly means improved survival for our patients with this disorder. In addition to exciting information on two new antibodies, both daratumumab, which was effective in patients with heavily pretreated disease, and elotuzumab, which was found to be effective when combined with both bortezomib as well as with lenalidomide. In addition to antibodies, the histone deacetylase inhibitor panabinostat has been reanalyzed with its use of bortezomib showing a significant improvement in progression-free survival in those patients that have had one prior line of therapy. In addition, panabinostat has been combined with carfilzomib and shows much lower toxicity in terms of fatigue and diarrhea than previously reported. In addition, panabinostat has been also combined with lenalidomide, once again, lower toxicity. New combinations of Carfilzomib with pomalidomide have reported to show activity. Updated results on the doublet combination of lenalidomide continuously with dexamethasone in older patients with myeloma showed improved overall survival compared to traditional standards. A trial of carfilzomib pomalidomide dexamethasone induction with autologous stem cell transplant reported a 100% response rate. In addition, there were 90% stringent complete responses. This step has never before been reported. Between the introduction of antibodies, HDAC inhibitors, and new proteasome inhibitors, we expect greater response rates. Moreover, we're now getting new data on oral proteasome inhibitors and all oral combinations, including panabinostat, lenalidomide dexame dexamethasone, ixazomib, lenalidomide dexamethasone, that promises to bring all oral treatments with no injections for our patients with myeloma. ASCO 2015 is remarkably exciting. It's certain to push the ball towards cure further for all of our patients. Thank you.